Hey guys, what's up? And thanks for tuning in. I'm Martin, aka Ballistic Bull, and this is the BBTFRG channel. Today is Friday, it's 4 pm, and that can mean only one thing it's warship sneak peek time. So let's jump right on in and take a look at what's going on. Season 65 of Warships, Tides of Heroes. Hmm, what can that mean? Commander, the heroes have gathered for an important strategy meeting where flight captain Rudy Rudero's position will be evaluated. Adding new officers is always risky, especially since now we could have two captains and both claim seniority. So what does that mean? Well, let's take a dive into the game and find out. But before we do that, just a quick disclaimer. I'm on the dev build. Uh, it's lent to me by Supercell for the recording of Sneak Peeks. Lots of gems. You'll see me with lots of gems, lots of diamonds, lots of resources, tokens, etc. There's nothing dodgy going on. Like I say, it's just a version of the game that is lent to me by Supercell. So let's get into the game and take a closer look. Well, as you can see there, all four heroes, and they are sat right early in the tree. Uh, and that is what is meant by the, I guess that's what's meant by the Tide of Heroes. The heroes having a gathering at 2ER to discuss Rudy's future. But uh, before we get into the tech tree, let's take a look at some of the other details of season 65 let's start with the chest reward values so what have we got as our chest reward values for this season well it's the same as it has been for the last few seasons wood is 15 keys 260,000 tokens stone 16 keys 290,000 tokens Iron, 18 keys, 325,000 tokens. Gold is 20 keys, 360,000 tokens. Diamond, 22 keys, 400,000 tokens. And Legendary, 25 keys and 450,000 tokens. Now let's take a look at the statue boosts for this season. Bit of an interesting one this season, which we will discover as we go through the tech tree, but this will give you a little taster. Uh, troop damage, we've got 100%. Uh, troop health, 50%. Uh, building damage, we've got 100%. Uh, building health, we've got 50%. GBE, nothing. Zero. Zip. Nada. Not a single percent of GBE. So let's take a look at the, the statue boost nodes and see what they hold. Well, there's two boost new nodes on the tree this season. Boost node one brings us 30% troop damage, 30% troop health, or 30% GBE. And boost node two brings us 30% building damage, 20% building health, or 40% GBE. I've been told that this is deliberate, and they want to make GBE more of a viable choice on these choice nodes. So that is our statue boosts and the boost nodes for this season. Uh, let's take a little look at the negative nodes um a little bit of black and white now going on for negative nodes negative node one we've got minus 10 percent building damage minus 10 percent building health minus 10 percent gbe negative node two ten, minus 10 percent troop damage minus 10 percent troop health minus 10 percent gbe negative node three minus 10 percent troop health minus 10 percent building health minus 10 percent gbe Negative node four. Yes, that's right, folks. There's four negative nodes uh, and counting. <laughs> you see that fifth column looming large there as well. So that's 10, minus 10% 10 troop damage, minus 10% building damage, minus 10% GBE. And finally, negative node five. Yep, that is right. There are five negative nodes on the tree, on the tree this season. 
and they are very strategically placed. Stay tuned when we go through the tech tree and I will show you what I mean. Uh, in the meantime, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and, and all of that good stuff. Share it with your mates, send it to the Telegram channels that you belong to, etc. Uh, all helps the channel and I am eternally grateful. Um, so yeah, negative node five, as you see there, minus 10% trip health, minus 10% building damage and minus 10% building health. So let's take a look at the deck layouts for this season. There's your two ER layout with the left hand ramp. Three ER layout with the left hand ramp still and a deeper deck. Four ER opens up the right side, still with that cut out in the middle. 5VR extends the opening on the right side. It still keeps the left-hand side open with some cutouts there as well. 6VR closes the left ramp but opens the right side entirely. And 7VR opens the left side up again with that little bit of a ramp towards the back of the ship. And those are your layouts for Season 65. Okay, now down to business. This is what you all want to see. It's the tech tree. We've covered everything, I think. The chest reward values, the statues, the, the deck layouts. So now the tech tree. Um, obviously, as you can see, warriors and grens, your opening troop with mortars, flamethrowers, the, the uh, opening defenses. And as we said earlier, all four heroes are available there at 2ER. Uh, the multi-node is... Uh, what kind of block that off? Hmm, not my smartest, not my smartest moment, but uh, it's four boom mines, uh, suffice to say. So, uh, yeah, we've got uh, the first troop boost sits there. Uh, that's the troop damage, troop health and gumbo energy. Uh, and then we've got the um, multi-node moving on to 3ER and the next block of nine nodes. Uh, then we've got an ER and a block of nine nodes. So let, let's get back. Let's get back and just take a quick look here. Uh, if you go straight through the middle, you've got medics. You've got the this minus uh, the negative node and you've got a proto or you can go around the edges where you've got the grins warriors or medics boost there uh, you've got the flare you've got the troop damage if you go top sniper tower tanks green mines if you go bottom into 4ER then we've got the next block of nine where if you go through the middle you're going to have troop health, troop damage, or gunboat energy to lose 10% from. There is also a multi-node there, which is two machine guns, two sniper towers, or two mortars. And up the top is your second statue boost node, which is the 30% building damage, 20% building health, or 40% gunboat energy. Also available at 4ER, shock mines, scorchers, machine guns, rifles, and some building health. Then we get our 5ER. You will notice this season, just very quickly, that the ERs are actually a little bit cheaper there. Um... 30 as opposed to 35 to unlock 3 ER. 60, oh, let's move that over a little bit. 60 as opposed to 65 to unlock 4 ER. 5 ER is, is still uh, 90 keys, as you can see there. But beyond 5 ER, we have uh, boom mines, uh, sorry, boom cannons and cannons and mechs. We've got some troop health. We've got artillery. We've got defensive building damage. We've got rocket choppers, as you can see, and that middle negative node of building health, troop health, and gumbo energy. And the first proto, or the sorry, the second proto there, which is a damage amp two, a shock blaster two, or a laser beam two. Into 60R, which is 120 keys to unlock this time, as opposed to 110, so marginally dearer 
for the 6ER, but in 6ER, you've got med kits, heavy choppers, shock launchers, more DVD, or you can go the bottom part, bottom path with lasers, rocket launchers, and artillery, or you can cut through the middle, which means taking on another one of those negative nodes. And this time your choice would be losing troop damage, losing building damage, or losing more gumbo energy. Finally, we've got a multi-node there on the end, which is a shock launcher, a rocket launcher, or two boom cannons extra that you can pick up. And finally, shifting into 7 ER, which is slightly cheaper, 150 keys. So although 6 ER is dearer, uh, 7 ER is 15 keys cheaper. So moving into 7 ER, there we find the shocks, we find more troop damage, we find the critter launchers and the seekers. We find a final proto, which is the boom surprise, a sky shield, or the doom cannon, all level threes. We've got the heavies to pair up with our heavy choppers, and we've got the bombardiers as well. You can cut through the middle and take on the final negative node, which is building health, building damage, or troop health. Remember, they're all 10%, all these negative node choices. And finally, the last node on the tree, we've got a temporary gumbo ability. It's speed serum, or remote hack, or hiding, <laughs> hiding behind my plea to use my code in the shop is the remote defib um yeah need to adjust that for next season um but but yeah um speed serum remote hack or remote defib on that um final node there so yeah quite an interesting tree this season i did the calculations and i th it's about 750 keys if you want to just plow through the middle of all of this ignoring everything else just to get to 7er as quickly as possible now if you collect in iron and don't rank up at all that would give you 7er by wednesday of the second week if you managed to rank up to gold and were able to collect a few gold chests in gold you could get to 70r as early as sunday um sort of seven days after warship starts personally i think the smart move is to avoid those negative nodes um given uh, the lack of uh, statue boosts that we have this season i think that the smart move would, would be to take your time and go around the outside having said that i will be taking one of my accounts straight up the gut it will be going straight up the gut with grens all the way to seven as quickly as possible i'll try and live stream as much of that as i possibly can but uh, for now, that is your Warships sneak peeks. Oh, just one more thing before I go. Uh, here is the deck tiles picture. If you'd like to grab a screenshot of that, then be my guest. These will also be available um, on the BBTFRG Facebook group, the BBTFRG Telegram channels, both the Supporters Club and the Fun Ops channel. I'll also put it up in the Collective. It will go up in Sugar Ship. It will go up here in Ship with a Plan. And I might let the... Um, I, might be, I might be able to get it onto the Discord server uh if that's up and running uh we had to take the discord server down a little while ago um but yeah it will be available in all manner of places so yeah if you want to grab a screenshot if not grab a screenshot of that and there is the tech tree if you would like to grab a screenshot of that too uh just leave that there i mean it's not overly uh not overly clear on that but the pictures that you download um they will they will be relatively relatively high definition and a lot clearer if you download them from the telegram channel 
But uh, like I say, that is the sneak peeks for now. Thank you very much for tuning into the video. Uh, thanks for the likes and the subscribes and the support and the using the BBTFRG in the shop and all of that good stuff. Hopefully I shall be back Sunday evening if I can... Um, talk one of my one of my friends into joining me for a bit of a chat about the tech tree uh failing that i might just do it myself and go through you guys with chat if not i will see you on the seas next se season uh like i say thanks for tuning in and i will catch you soon cheers guys goodbye